In India, a crime is committed against a woman every three minutes. Every 60 minutes, two women are raped, and every six hours, a young married woman is beaten to death, burnt, or commits suicide. If only we lived in a world where men and women were equals, life would be much less complicated, but it's not. My name is... Sadly, we live in a world where men are superior to women. In India, the majority of men think that they can control women. I live a big cause for domestic violence is that women aren't educated. This puts women through risk because they don't know how to defend themselves against men. And the men look at their wives like they are useless. Men don't think women matter, so they just take anger out on them. Dowry standards cause many problems. Many times the husband's families ask for money they don't actually need, and if the woman doesn't meet these standards, then the man can get angry and start abusing his wife. I think it's cause the most common problem that was found was that the men were usually intoxicated and or drunk. This had resulted into the problem of domestic violence in a happy family. In a country like India, the government does not pay attention to these problems and laws are not properly enforced. The lack of education has been causing domestic violence and in most cases women are the ones who suffer. A quite obvious effect of domestic violence is that the women can get brutally injured and sometimes it can be bruises but death does occur at other times. Innocent women are being victimised and this needs to be stopped. The lack of education and a part of domestic violence is that the women face problems in getting a job and people consider them as inferiors. They face problems with discrimination in wages. Unfortunately, sometimes a woman is carrying a baby. When her husband beats her, the baby gets affected too. Negative outcomes of a baby being born from a mother who is traumatised by domestic violence can be nightmares, being disturbed by bright lights and noises easily, not wanting any physical contact or struggling to be happy. We as people regarding the country from an outsider's point of view can solve this problem by educating women and creating more opportunities for them. A good way to solve this problem is if more NGOs are incorporated for working against domestic violence and lack of education among women. ASHA, an NGO, has been working against domestic violence and lack of education and has educated a large number of people, especially girls. Their works are like inspirations for other organisations for working on making the condition of women better. Yes, I think the major requirement that this issue has in respect to being solved is that there is a requirement for government involvement and support. Also, laws need to be reinforced and strengthened for those who choose domestic violence as their way of being happy. To solve this problem, we need to change mindsets, change traditions, so that women are not seen as inferiors and are seen as equal to men. Making a change is possible, and people like you can make all the difference in the world.